Hey guys, welcome back to Caesar 3 and phase 2 of 3 for Lugdunum. Now in the last part, we established the start of our city and we're using any shaped blocks, but in this part, we're gonna cross the river, access that massive farmland and develop our city. And be sure to continue on to phase 3, where we're gonna get max level housing for this map and show off some very cool techniques. But first, let's get started with phase 2. Alright, so now it's time to focus on phase two. Ah, okay. So, also I was looking around and I think there should be... There is, there we go. Look at that, Charles, a mysterious native trader. He's going around buying stuff from over here, it seems. Um, good thing he's not buying our food. And also we have 10,000 city funds. I'm not... What am I spending it all on? I, I'm not sure. <laughs> We're actually not taxing these people as well. And also I think there's maybe too many houses here and not enough houses here. So I think I will expand our housing on this side by a little bit by doing that. And maybe knocking out a few houses here, doing that. And also, now that we've expanded to this area, I think we can do a few things to optimize. I was looking at this earlier and see that we could do this. This will actually still function fine because that covers that. So we, it's just more efficient, more space saving. And also, I want to uh, set up some housing blocks here. Now, on this mission, as I said earlier, I'm proving that you do not need to have any particular kind of block shape because as opposed to the 9 by 9 or any proper block, uh, they don't actually have to be any particular shape. So what we can do is we can just draw weird shapes and it will work fine. So over here, what I can do is I'm going to do something like this. Uh, do something like this. Kind of like a skinny heart, I guess. One, two, three, four, five, six. Something like that. We can put a skinny heart there, why not? Uh, we'll just put a couple houses down to get people moving in. We can set up a housing block here as well. And I'm going to draw another weird shape. So we've done an X there. We've done a heart there. Uh, what else can we do? Um, we could have another housing block just sort of... What shape What shape should we do? What shape should we do? <laughs> um, oh, there's only so many shapes. You can't draw a circle, can you? You know what, let's just make some weird Z shape. Yeah, a Z shape, that's fine. Okay. So we've got a Z shape, an X shape, an, a heart shape, that's just sort of an, an L shape, a Z shape. What other letters can we do? A duck shape? Flizzy duck. Um, I know you like ducks. A triangle? Come on, you can't do a triangle. A lightning bolt? Ooh, that might be... Can you do a light, lightning... I mean, come on, lightning bolt's pretty much a Z, isn't it? <laughs> Talking about the, the new uh, Zach God's emote. We'll put down a couple houses here, get people moving in there. And now how do we... what shape can we do here? Uh, it should sort of... do we do another X? We could... T-shape. We could do a T-shape. One, two, three, four. Four, one, two, three, four. That doesn't look quite right. It should be there. Okay. A T-shape. There we go. Now we got a bunch of different shaped blocks. <laughs> so this is of course not optimal. It's not proper or anything like that. But uh, it's gonna work. It's gonna work fine. Now this market here still has enough food. This market should be doing okay. Um, no access to water there. Oh, that's interesting. I guess I should get rid of a couple houses there anyway. And also, we really should be taxing people. Uh, because they should be taxed. So let's tax there, and we'll also tax... Where should the tax collector go? Yeah? Yeah, we're gonna tax these people. <coughs> And we're going to wait for these houses to move in. Once these houses move in, we can get things started. Um, I probably should have something like 
some houses on the outside here. If I have houses like that... Another 10 units of meat. There's your 10 units of meat. I could have a gatehouse right here. And have this road do that, and then this outer area can have access to housing, and we could do something similar here, I guess? Right? Something like that. And we could have houses like that. Yeah, that'll work. So that's gonna be our hard block up there. Building on the farmland on this far side is probably a very good idea because you tend to not be able to get houses over there in time. So now we're just waiting for things to come in. I think we have pretty much infinite money at this point. Once these new blocks move in, we could get things going properly. Now, how do I wanna arrange the houses on this block? Uh probably want to do something like this. Oh, there's actually a rock there. Would you look at that? We'll get some houses moving in like that. We'll need a reservoir to go up as far as we can up this side. And we'll see... We'll see if we can actually... Like, what's the reach of the water? Ooh, that's, that's kind of... Why couldn't the reservoir go there? It should be able to fit. Can I delete this? Oh, that is a bit of a problem. Huh. That limits our reach of things somewhat, but I guess we could make it work. So that means we can't have a house there, but we can have houses on the lower area. So we can do something like this. Just about. It should actually go like that. Yeah, that should be good. So, are uh, the immigrants coming through? They are, okay, so we can start just putting down all the basics. We're gonna need an engineer's post at each of these. Just make sure things don't fall apart. And then we'll see. Employees needed, yes. And we'll see if uh, the blocks are too large or too small or anything like that. I don't think they're too large. I think it's, I think it's gonna be fine. I can bring water from the other side of the cliff only if I can fit a reservoir there, which is gonna ruin my current pottery industry. See, there's no access to proper water. Th these cliffs sort of stop it from happening. But also, we are definitely gonna have a road doing this. So there's that. We probably should uh, clear off some of these trees. Because I think we're gonna have to have one, two, three, four. We'll have something like this, I think. There's gonna be a little loop on this side. And just to show you what I mean, I'm gonna clear off the trees from down here. Make a little path through to them. And it's gonna have... This should actually work. <laughs> we should actually be able to have that there. And if I put one, two, three, four, a fountain can't quite reach there. Is it possible to get fountain access down there? It's a little, it's just one shot. Is it possible to get a reservoir anywhere here? I think that might actually be able to do it. Uh, aqueduct. That's one tile in, allowing us to do that. And that should actually get water <laughs> to there. Yes, yes, look at that. Look at that. We're getting houses on the low ground. That's That looks crazy, but it's gonna work. Trust me. Just trust me. All right, all of these have moved in. We can just get the reservoirs set up. Uh, we're gonna need a reservoir here. 
and we're gonna need a reservoir for this side as well. And we'll bring a reservoir up to that side and we're gonna need a reservoir up this side. Something like this. There we go. So this is gonna do this, do that, do that. That's gonna do this. And we're gonna hook this up. And how do I arrange these fountains? Like that? That looks nice. And on this side... Is that...? Need a bit more reach there. Is this...? One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four... This is one too long. <laughs> Good thing I caught that. You guys would have never forgiven me. Uh, anyway, I think all of these blocks are small enough to be completely encircled by... Or maybe not. This block might be a little too big. No, it's fine. It's fine. Okay, so now we'll just provide doctor access to everyone. Might as well get that out of the way. Okay. And now we can actually start... What's our population like? 8% unemployment? Okay, we're gonna need a row of houses here. And to do that, we'll fill up the, the housing as we want it to be. Okay, that housing there should be fine. Uh, we probably want to have like another couple houses like that. That looks good. We're gonna need an engineer's post here. Make sure nothing collapses, and now we can start feeding this area. So, let's go ahead and get that going. We can just have... How do I want to do this? Granary can go there. This road will extend until there. And it'll come out this way. One, two, three. That road goes down like that. And we can have... Engineer's post there. And the road goes up to there. That looks good. Six farms. Uh, employment's gonna be a bit of a pain if I do this, though. Oh well, I'm gonna have to do that. And look at that, we've got houses on the low ground. Isn't that amazing? <laughs> oh, you guys are spamming Zach God's temples. Do we need temples? We need temples. Alright. Ceres can go right here. Neptune can go right here. Mercury can go right here. Mars. Do we need temples anywhere else? Let's just get Mars down there. And Venus. Can go right there. Okay, there we go. That should get the gods happy. Food starting to come in here. Fantastic. We'll let that stockpile up a little bit. So, feeding this area will be easy peasy. Can I actually fit like 2,000 people? <clears throat> I should actually be able to fit one more house there, right? Yeah, that should be fine. Alright, so more people are going to be moving in. What's our employment like? 2%? Okay. We'll keep things going. Money is infinite, so that's not a problem. So, food's starting to come in. We could probably get the market down, which we will put... ...here. 
Can we up our marble quarries? Uh, I could probably get rid of a couple of workshops here. Because I see, you know, there's always one sort of workshop left over. I think, yeah, two workshops per raw material should be fine. But marble can be upped by placing one more here. Like that. We can't fit any there. Alright, I just want to up my marble production so that... I could fit one more there. If I so desired. If I did this. Move the engineer's post. So I can start placing oracles, raw material, marble quarry. There we go. Two more marble quarries should get our marble supplies up. We're starting to feed people. They need some desirability. Money is not a problem, so we're going to plaza it up. There we go. We'll plaza up there as well. You know what? Plaza up all of these residential blocks. We really have too much money. <laughs> so we've plaza that up. Uh... Entertainment, okay, we can start putting down entertainment buildings. We'll give you a theater. We'll give you a... Where should I place this? One, two, three, four. Theater. And we'll give you a theater. So a temple there, theater there. Theater is a different kind of temple, I suppose. <laughs> and does that... Yeah, this is, this is always something that's somewhat confusing, but... You can have uh, theater practitioners going around, even without an actor's colony. But just to be fair, I'm going to put down an actor's colony. So these guys now need schools, but a library is easier to manage. So we're going to put down a library. We could probably just start giving these services all over the place. Library. Library. Yeah, that's fine. That evolves there. No basic educational facilities. Yeah, more people are going to move in there. There's water reach there just about, actually. So it should be fine as long as that becomes a 2x2. Two two. So I should probably just delete those houses. And that will expand into a 2x2. Two two. Right? Yeah. All these houses are looking fine. We'll need to keep desirability up on the back of this. That looks good. Barber, yeah. Uh, is there any other... There's no other one tile thing, so... Uh, news of terrible damage, there's been a massive landslide which has cut off the route to some land merchants. Ah, no trade then. Alright, so we're evolving all of these houses. Look at that, food is stockpiling as well. And just to get things going, I'm gonna put a market here. Oh, would you look at that? A market right there. So we're actually going to feed these houses on the low ground. <laughs> isn't, that, uh, isn't that a bit crazy? So we've fed this area and also expanded this area. That looks good. We've cut back on the houses here, which I think we're still struggling to get... ...this area fed. I'll see if this stabilizes. Otherwise, we might have to take off a little bit more food here. This area is okay. Yeah, so we could actually fit more houses here. Alright, but this area looks like it's developed. Are we gonna start getting some food from here? Hopefully. Six Farm seems to be keeping on up. Now, getting pottery up there, that's gonna be a little tricky because you see here, this pottery supply can confuse the distance of things. So I think I actually have to remove our pottery supply, our pottery production here, and transfer it to somewhere more central. Like here. Yeah, I think I do have to do that. Maybe I could have it here, or here. Now here's probably better. So I'm gonna clear off these trees. So I can start putting down clay pits. Four? Four should do. And we're gonna need a warehouse here. We'll be as efficient as possible with the placing of things. This is gonna accept pottery. 
There we go. And then we need pottery workshops. Uh, workshop pottery. So how could I position this? If I have the intersection go up like that... And have an engineer's post there... And have the pottery workshops go up like this... We're gonna need eight. So three, four, five, six... Seven, eight. Workshop pottery. There we go. Employees needed, not to worry. We're now gonna cancel off this pottery production here. And just up our marble quarries, I think. Yeah, there we go. Okay. So we're gonna have this centralized pottery area, which we can use to sell pottery and also act like just send it all over the map. So... Is that sort of the best place for it? I think I actually have to stop selling pottery. Because the market, the, the traders will come down this way and just start buying up pottery. So that's gonna be annoying, if nothing else. So I'm gonna stop selling pottery. This is looking okay. So we're gonna need warehouse here. I suppose... The best spot for it is there. This is gonna be getting pottery. So we can start... That. And we're also gonna need... A couple warehouses here. There and also here, I think. These two are also going to be set to getting pottery. There we go, there we go. That will start these houses evolving. How's our employment like? Shot by five, perfect. Look at that. No access to any religious facilities. I needed a temple, so I'll shift the temple to Mars there. We'll keep them even, because why not? Uh, we can also... Yeah, we're just gonna provide all the services, I guess. Theater. Library. <laughs> uh, trade more oil. Ah, yes, we are gonna have to start importing oil. You know, the only sort of way to make sure we... I just set this to accepting. And we'll keep that at getting. If I have clay pits down this way... How much pottery do we sell a year? This flag is, is wrong. That flag's supposed to be red. Um, they buy 25 a year. If I produce enough pottery down here, we could go back to selling pottery. So if I just go 25 a year... I don't know how many workshops and stuff we need to get that going, but... We're gonna give it a shot. Workshop pottery. Uh, one, two, three, four. Five. Six. Seven, eight. If we produce enough pottery down here, then we could sell it. Because then the traders will come in and buy the pottery from here, rather than this just getting pottery, and then uh, the traders buy this and they'll have to go get more, which is very annoying. If we produce enough pottery here, and this is full up, then the traders will never go into the city to buy pottery. Continuing to sell pottery will be good if we want to... Uh, if we want to... import oil. Now, desirability is an issue here. Let's see if I can... How do I want to do this? If I do this... That's not really how I want to do it, is it? 
Maybe a statue there instead? I'm gonna need the space over there. We have marble, so let's build an oracle there. We can also mitigate some of the desi desirability around here by putting an oracle there and there. That will keep the gods happy as well. And also we're gonna need, how much marble do we have? We could have oracles split around here. Another landslide, okay, look at that. We've evolved those. <laughs> uh, bathhouse, ooh, that's a good point. Can we actually get I'm gonna have to demolish some of these houses. Baths. We can have a bathhouse here, but I can't get a bathhouse here. I have to demolish a house. I guess that one there is going. Yeah, it has to. Baths. There we go. Okay, so these are now primed to evolve. We just have to wait for the pottery to come in. It's starting to be manufactured on this side as well. What is our employment? Short by 96. I know, I know, that's, that's bad. <laughs> uh, I know that's bad. Uh, we could have more houses like that. This road should actually go one more looking at this you guys probably hated that that was a thing <laughs> i miscounted uh plaza plaza this up please there we go okay because we're supposed to have like another some houses there that's a bit annoying because there's a rock in the way but that's fine oh this did get some pottery. Would you look at that? And they need more entertainment, so let's give them an amphitheater. There. Here. There's no real good spot for it, is there? Gladiator school can go here. There we go. So that will evolve these further until they need furniture, I think. And I can just start spamming oracles to, to wherever I want them to be, so I can do that. There's supposed to be small statues, so the inside of this block is now done. Those four oracles will keep desirability up as these houses evolve. Is this area producing... pottery? I think it is. Yeah, there we go. Pottery is starting to come in here. Fantastic. So those houses will evolve. And once those houses evolve, we'll, we'll solve our employment issue. There we go. These have all evolved now. Looking good, looking good. Uh, we'll need more pottery coming up that side. Is this...? Yeah. 95 pottery still there. So we're gonna hit 3,000 people soon. There's now pottery in this area, so there's pots, what do these need? Bathhouse? Ah, oh, yes, baths. Just, uh... There. Cool. I'll put down a school as well, just to test to see its range. And I suppose these one tile services, we should move over to somewhere else. Engineer's post, doctor, and barber. It'll be more efficient if these were one tile houses. There. I think this is turning out to be pretty good. Uh, and you guys are asking what's the highest level housing in, in Caesar? It's palaces, palaces. Large palaces are the highest level housing. and. By the way, as an extra challenge, these low ground houses, I'm gonna turn them into, all right, they're luxury palaces, sorry. These low ground houses, I'm gonna turn them into fancy houses. I, I don't know what the highest, I think it'll just be villas, three by three villas, because there's only one type of wine, as far as I know. So we're gonna need to get some wine going, uh, which will be a little tricky, actually. I need kind of a warehouse up here. 
No, no, we could have another market on the low ground just for wine. <laughs> These are gonna be fancy houses. Just you wait and see. I could probably do like four, I think? Maybe three? But we'll get two first and just see how that looks. <coughs> Excuse me. So these have evolved, they need a supply of furniture, which we could just go ahead and get that going. If we have... this is sort of like a... You know what? It might actually just be better if it was there. Supply of furniture. So we can accept furniture and nothing else. And I'm just gonna produce... Oh, we can't produce... Oh, right, we have to import. We need to get furniture. We need to import wood and turn that into furniture. Shot by 55 employees. These houses here have evolved. Yes, is the market doing okay with pottery and everything? Yep. That cart is going okay. So if, I, if this fills up with pottery, we can just... Uh, Oh, there's no- I keep forgetting to put down bathhouses to evolve these buildings. There we go. And also we could put down more oracles just to counter desirability. If I clear that off, clear that off, we could put down oracles there and there. And gardens don't always look the best, so I'm gonna put down small statues. Like that. 10 units of marble. We have nine, damn it. I, I just spent a bunch of marble. <laughs> uh, is that the 10th unit? There we go. Yeah, just, just have it. Money's not an issue. So pottery is coming in here. These markets are pretty well stocked. We're grabbing a bit more. We have to import wood. Have we actually maxed out the food here? We have. Okay, so I need to start producing I need to start producing... Oh, we definitely need to get rid of some of these houses. There's no way, as these houses evolve, there's no way we're gonna be able to support all of that. So I'm gonna trim back a bit. Yeah. Are these houses keeping up? I just have to m make sure food supplies actually maintain somewhat. Because as we evolve houses, that's gonna be a little tricky. Okay, so it looks like there is plenty of pottery here, so we can resume selling pottery. It'll just maintain above zero because, you know, we're already selling as much as we can. Weapons, yeah. we never sold off that pottery, okay. So food here has sort of maxed out, shot by 39 employees, and where do I want to set up a furniture production industry? Should it be here or here? It'd probably be okay if it was here. It's just a little far to this area, but it should be fine. So. 3,000 people! I take a drink of coffee every time there's a cinematic. I'm not sure if you noticed. <laughs> but we're gonna clear off some of these. We're gonna drop back down. Lose that 3,000 people. We're gonna keep that house there. We've dealt with that. Shot by 45. Shot by 71. Okay. So we're gonna need a warehouse. There. This is going to be accepting timber. And we can start importing timber. And then we're going to need another warehouse. I'm going to move this temple to Venus. Actually, I could probably just delete these temples, right? And then there should be an extra series temple somewhere. If I just change 
that temple to the Mars temple. We can then get rid of that. That's fine. We're gonna have another warehouse right here set to accepting furniture. There we go. So yeah, I probably do need to... No, we'll leave that there first. Can I fit an amphitheater here? Small temple series right there. Move that, change that to an amphitheater. Get a gladiator school down here. Like that, that's fine. That's actually terrible. Let's get rid of these trees. <laughs> Let's put the gladiator school right here. That's a bit better. So the gods should be perfectly happy because we've put down so many oracles. We have a surplus of marble quarries. Shot by 65. We could probably cut back on the marble production a little bit here. Uh, do I want any more oracles? Maybe we could put one there and one there, I guess. Oracle there and there. We've got Oracle there and there. That looks good. So yeah, we gotta cut back on these houses. I'll probably destroy a bit more there. Food on this side seems to be okay. These traders are coming in probably to sell us the wood. And if they buy pottery from here or from here, it should be fine. Okay, that looks good. Bringing more pottery. This guy is... Why is this trader coming up this way? Oh. Technically, I suppose this warehouse is closer. <laughs> um, they're buying pottery out of here. Uh, I, I guess so. I guess so. <laughs> oh well, that's fine. That that is fine. Um, why is food supply struggling so much here? You know what, let's try and just... Maybe I just need one more warehouse down this side. Because food is not struggling over on the other side. There we go. Uh, put back the, the primitive pottery industry here. I mean, I, I probably could do that. That's probably best. Are we bringing in timber? We are bringing in timber. We'll just slowly add some furniture workshops as we go along here. How many people shot by? 59. Probably need a bit more than that. Food is sort of holding up here. Okay. Again, money's not a problem. We're actually way overproducing weapons. I don't know if I can cut back. How many do we sell a year? 15? Uh, we probably still need that many, I guess. Okay. But all this is looking A-OK. -okay. Oh, right. Also, oh, there is a glitch on this. There's a glitch on this. Um, you notice earlier when we had timber, we imported two units and that's all they sold. They actually do not sell timber unless there are working furniture workshops in the city. It's a little crazy. It's a little weird. <laughs> but you need working furniture workshops for them to sell you more timber. I know. Uh, click become trade center. Um, I mean, I don't know if that actually works. If I set this to become trade center. Hopefully they buy pottery. Actually, no, this should be the trade center. See if they can try buy the, the pottery out of that one and not buy out of this one, hopefully. I don't know if they can. Uh, we don't need that anymore. 
Okay. Why is food struggling so much here? <clears throat> I mean, it's okay the further away we get. Uh, but we are short on employees, that's fine, that's fine. I'm probably overproducing pottery, right? I don't need this much pottery production. Not there, anyway. We filled that up. I could probably cut back a little bit, yeah? One, two, three, four, five, six for three. Yeah, that should be fine. Okay. So basically, to evolve further, we need more people, and I guess we need to just sort of start planning out some more farmland here. I'm gonna clear off most of these trees. Let's clear off that, clear this off. We're gonna do some sort of farmland here. Up to about here, I guess. To feed these two areas. So, I'm gonna need... What's the farmland look like here? Uh, wheat... We could actually go right up to the end, so I'm gonna clear off these trees. So I'll have that as sort of a reference point. So we're gonna have this road come up like this. One, two, three. It's gonna do that. Three, so it's gonna do something like this. One, two, three, four, five, six. It's gonna do that. This should be more than enough farms, really. Okay. And we're gonna need... some houses right there, and an engineering post right there. And then we could get things going, yeah? Just... That should be fine. One, two, three, one, two, three... Yeah. Okay. That should be good. And just to be absolutely safe, I'll put an engineer's post there. So we'll have plenty of farmland here to get into a warehouse, which can then be sent over to these two areas with getting again. Because on this map, I'm again doing this very separated sort of thing. Furniture's starting to come in. Uh, we really do need... Are they, they're still buying pottery out of here. See, it, the trade center. What does the trade center even do? What does the trade center even do? I've set this to the trade center. They don't prioritize buying pottery out of here. They just go straight for this one. That's so annoying. I mean, they are stocking up mostly on marble first. So that helps, I guess. <laughs> Uh, but since that they're just not buying where we want them to buy, I'm just gonna cut back on pottery production, I guess. Was I short one workshop down this side? I think I was. Four workshops, two pottery, yeah. Okay, there we go. Huh. Waiting for those houses to move in, then we could proceed with the new farmland. So we are going for 5,000 people, right? Yeah, 5,000. That, that's actually not a problem. Uh, food is struggling a little bit. So I think I do need to cut back on some of this housing. Get rid of those. 600 food, employees needed, okay. So we actually, we actually brought our employees back up. Food is maintaining for now, but it, you see it's dwindling, so you gotta be careful. If you see food dwindling, you have to compensate for it. 
This is set to getting pottery. So this warehouse here is set to getting furniture, so it should be on the way, right? To buy furniture? It should be. Are we importing 2 of 25? It's March. Okay, I just need to make sure timber is actually being imported here. Because there is some furniture, but I know there is a glitch on this map on importing timber. This should be... Yeah, this, sh this is going off to get the furniture, so that should be fine. Timber sold to wrong warehouse? Says be balchy. <laughs> Which warehouse did it go to? Why is this accepting all of this? That's just accepting marbles. I don't think Timber went to the wrong warehouse, right? That's the correct... Yeah, there's no Timber in the wrong warehouse. Timber gets into... Oh! <laughs> ah, that happened. Okay, okay. Um, that's that's not good. Uh, I think that happened the last time I played this map. I think that happened the last time. You know what? Go go get that timber. Go on, go grab it. <laughs> It'll be a long journey, but he'll he'll go get it. This house has moved in though, so let let's just get this going, shall we? Uh, we're gonna need a warehouse. Right there. This is set to accepting wheat. Okay, so I know this could be a granary and that we could just have getting granaries on the low ground here, but I'm going all in on this warehouse technique. <laughs> you know what? I know why we, we're short on employees. We, we've provided things we don't need to to these houses. Went a little overboard, didn't I? Yeah, okay. Uh, we, we imported into the wrong warehouse. Anyway, how do I want to do this? Uh, so we're going to start stockpiling wheat into there. And I guess I'll, I'll just try and start feeding one of these areas. Let's... Uh, how do I want to do this? Yeah, we're gonna do this. I'm gonna put some houses there, so this road could extend to there. Or is that a bad idea? You know what, there's actually plenty of space here. If I just cancel all of this, and just have a warehouse. I'll loop this around like that. Just have this warehouse set to getting. Because it's so close, we actually don't need... You know what, I probably should do this properly, right? Should I? Yeah, okay, I'll, I'll do it properly, I'll do it properly. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and, and do this properly. We'll, we'll use granaries for getting here, I guess. We'll get rid of that. Put a granary right there, please. Accepting wheat. There we go. We'll just have a granary. We'll, we'll, this, these two areas can do granaries. But we will need to then do the whole gatehouse thing. We'll have that there. We'll have that there. We'll have... We need a road sort of coming out like that. We can gatehouse this, though, to do that. So we can fit a granary right here. And an engineer's post right here with a couple houses right here. So 
Okay. Dispatch that. So we can have this road extend out like that to do this. This is going to be set to getting wheat and it only has to go up this far as we have a road connection here. Doing that. Perfect. That will actually work exactly as I intend. And we have a bit of unemployment, so let's go ahead and start upping our number of farms. Ah, there we go. I'm gonna use getting for here because it's so close. Might as well, right? It's just gonna go from there. Oh, there's no road connection here. And I'm gonna use gatehouses because I just want this to be done somewhat properly. Is that connected there? Yeah. Let's just remove that. There. And that keeps the barbarians happy as well. <laughs> uh, these evolved. Look at that. We got... Needs access to a school. Okay. You guys can have a school then. Will these kids walk all the way around? I'm not sure. What is... Oh, that's a... a rock. Okay. If I put the school here... Let's see if the school children actually make it all the way around. Will they make it all the way around? I think they will... Yes. Then they need oil. Okay, so we've evolved this area here. We've actually brought in some furniture. We are importing the amount of timber we require. <laughs> uh, is this guy still going over to grab? Yeah, he's still going over to grab the timber. That's fine. Uh, <laughs> uh, that's a bit silly, isn't it? We need these houses to move in, then this little area will start functioning. And it'll probably be a bit more secure if this engineer's post was there instead of here. And it, that also looks a little weird. Food starting to come in. No employment problems since they all moved into these areas here. And I guess since money is infinite, we'll just up the number of oracles. Uh, this, this rock here is sort of annoying. Like that? That looks okay. So furniture made it here as well, does not have access to a clinic, so we need to put down a doctor, like that. Did they run out of furniture? They ran out of furniture. Once the furniture supply is a bit more stable, we'll be able to, to hold things up there. And we ran out of furniture there. This market also ran out of furniture. We didn't bring much up there, did we? It's okay. It's okay. Are these houses finally moving in? Yes, there we go. Can we get a fountain back there? Oh, we messed up this road a little bit. So actually the fountain can go right there. Yeah. Just have a reservoir extend up this way. That looks okay. Employees needed, no problem, it's because they moved out. So this granary is gonna start getting food. Look at that, it's got 700 wheat already. So we can just start marketing it off, I think. Uh, let's put the market right there. And we could have oracles like this. That kind of looks weird. Yeah, so we can have something there. So there we go, gonna bring in that. We could put down the theater again. Uh, do they have doctors? They have a doctor. Okay, there, now we can start evolving the T block. Uh, I also don't need the barracks anymore. Uh, that is probably Ideal, right? I actually don't need the barracks. Is, how many employees are here? Ten employees? Uh, 
that's fine. We'll just get rid of it. Food is actually sort of running out. Enough food came into here, so I think deleting those houses was good. We'll, we don't need this fountain anymore, so we need more food coming over to this side. Yeah, we definitely need more food. Or fewer houses. Ah, we fed these houses. Basic educational stuff, so you can have a library. And we probably need... a couple more farms here. That should be able to feed this area, at least. Local bathhouse uh, can go right there. And then we just sort of need a warehouse. Set to getting pottery. There we go. And that will evolve this housing block as well. And also we do need to fix that. So it does that. Okay. Go get pottery. All right. Employment shot by 38. Are we getting furniture back up here? I think we just got furniture back up here. There we go. Why is there marble here? Why, why is there marble in this warehouse? Something's not right. <laughs> How did marble get in this warehouse? Did, did one of the traders buy my marble and then dump it back here? That's very strange. But anyway, we could boost up the amount of furniture in this area by doing that. Yes, go, go get some furniture into this area. That'll, that'll be helpful. Meanwhile, these houses here will be evolving soon. We've got... Uh, let's get this... Going like that. Adjusting the road as we go along. Okay, so pottery has come on down here. Yeah, this, this is a little annoying where... <laughs> this is the efficient placing, but... Uh, it's sort of... the graphics are a bit messed up. That gatehouse is on top of the warehouse and stuff. It's a bit weird. Okay, but we are feeding this area. There's plenty of room for more people, so we can fix our employment issues. That's good. The market lady actually walked up there to get the food. That's kind of not right. Okay, I, again, I don't know how... I don't know how... Please tell me these glitches only happen on very hard? Uh, actually, no. Most of these glitches happen on every difficulty level. <laughs> it's, uh, it's difficult. It's difficult. Look at that. Desirability. How do I boost the desirability of down there? School. Is that a tree? No, there's a tree. So I have a bunch of services up here for these houses on the low ground. That's a bit crazy, right? <laughs> Uh, 
But yeah, we need more furniture coming up here. Some more is coming on up, and I think we just about finished furniture in one of the markets, so that's good. Uh, these houses have evolved, they need more entertainment, so let's give them an amphitheater. Right there. And I guess we could just have the actor colony... ...and gladiator school up here. That should be fine, right? Evolve those houses further, fantastic. That's gonna help solve our employment issue. We just need to wait for these people to move in. This can now go back to accepting because I think it grabbed all of the timber. It actually didn't grab all the- there's two units of timber in this warehouse which we can't grab because it can't grab less than four, I think. But anyway, timber has come on in. I think we need a couple more furniture workshops to really get all of this working. Pottery looks okay there. Food is... Uh, food's maxed out. Didn't I tell this... I told this warehouse to start emptying. It's still getting even though I said it to emptying. See, some of these things are kind of confusing. See this? Because this was set to getting and emptying, it prioritized getting. So it kept getting and it wasn't emptying. Whereas emptying should take priority. If you tell a warehouse to empty, it should empty. Oh, this house also gets to evolve. Isn't that nice? Do I have any extra temples lying around? Yeah, that temple to Venus. You can go sit right there. We'll evolve that house, why not? 500 units of wheat. This market, market lady walks up there to get the food, but that's... Uh, it's fine. It's fine. So this area has evolved up to small insulae, which needs more furniture. So I'm just sort of stabilizing the furniture supply here. I think this should be enough, right? How much do we import a year? 25 units? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. We've got 8 workshops, that should be fine. We've brought in more furniture here. The markets should be good. We'll set this back to just getting pottery. Just needed a bit of boost of furniture here to stabilize the supply. And then one warehouse getting it should be able to maintain. Now, in terms of desirability, on this low ground, can I put, like, a large statue right here? Will that actually work? It's access to a school. <laughs> Wait, needs access to a school. There is a school. Too few people allocated. We're shot by 95 people. Let's cut back on the marble quarries here. Let's just make things a bit more efficient. We don't need so much of this industry, do we? We're actually using up most of the pottery there. Get rid of that. That should allow a bit more food to go over to that side. Short by 51, okay. No local access to a barber, which we can put up here. There we go. Uh, <laughs> these low ground houses, they're amazing, they're amazing. Uh, counting TLS says, that's a feature to have warehouses getting and emptying at the same time combined with another getting warehouse can be used to constantly be getting goods from isolated blocks without manual control. Ah, I see. So setting something to getting and emptying, it's actually a technique you can use to shift resources around. Getting and emptying warehouses will act like the warehouse granary pair, constantly getting eight loads and deposit to another storage of four loads and repeat. I see. I see. Alright. Um, 
There's plenty of room for these people to move in. We just need them to move in. It's just a long trip for the immigrants. <laughs> They're slowly trickling in, it seems. Slowly. We'll cut back on that. Furniture has stabilized, I think. Okay. Are these houses all full? They are. Okay. So now we can start importing oil, I guess. So we'll set a warehouse right here to accepting oil. There we go. And we can start importing oil into that warehouse there. I might have overdone it on the furniture workshops a little bit, yeah? <laughs> so there's plenty of food here. I probably should cut back food here. I'm just gonna delete that, that's fine. To focus on delivering food over to this side. Some, you see some of these houses have devolved too much food went into this area. It's a delicate balancing act, you see? <laughs> too much food went over this side. Good thing I have some other areas evolving as we go along. Now, food here. Is it actually maintaining? Not really. We need a bit more food. Ah, we do need houses scattered around. All right. <coughs> ah. Shouldn't I set oil to stockpiling? I don't have to because this area is not connected to any market. You see, no market is touching this area, so I don't have to stockpile it because no markets can access it. So I'm just going to import the oil into this warehouse, which will then allow me to uh, set it to getting in other places. This area actually ran out of pottery. Did I overdo it? Right. We'll immediately set it back. That should solve the problem. Yeah, we actually ran out of pottery. <laughs> ah, all these tricks I'm doing are actually making things rather difficult, you see? I think I do need to up the pottery production here again, though. How many people are we shot by? 32, that's actually fine. We can cut back on a few furniture workshops here. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, we'll cut back on two. I don't think we need that many. The furniture supply seems to be doing okay. Oh, what? Why are these... Oh my... Don't mind me, don't mind me. <laughs> uh, I, hate, I hate how they add these resources as default to accepting as we open up new trade routes. I hate that. Uh, just, just set it to get it. Just go, go grab it. Go bring it over here. It'll, it'll take four trips. <laughs> Any of these other ones messed up? Some of these are older ones, right? I think I fixed these earlier ones. Yeah. Okay. So we ran out of a bit of pottery here. There we go, pottery's back. Market lady should be able to go grab that, re-evolve those houses. We could actually support more houses here. Let's do that. Should I put the amphitheater inside? Probably not. There we go. Food supply is starting to oversupply on that side. Not 
have to worry. Is this still returning from delivery? With pots? Yeah. Reduce the price of one of the goods. Okay, so it's now less worth it to export pottery, I guess. I think just to make things easier, I'm gonna stop exporting pottery. You can see some of the oil is now being transferred over to this side. <laughs> there we go. That should stabilize the pottery supply. That's continuing to get furniture. This area has stabilized, okay. So now we just need to get a warehouse over on this side. Set to getting. Probably not yet, I'll, I'll wait a little bit. Otherwise it's gonna be a long trip. You know what, it probably doesn't matter. Go get oil. All right, we're slowly starting to shift the oil over this side. And these houses... Uh, good thing these houses here did not have access to furniture. I think this is too many houses to support on this side. Short by eight, that's actually better than I expected. <laughs> There we go, oil is starting to come in. You know what, I think I can now set this to accepting. And I'm gonna send out a cart here, an extra cart, to go get oil. That will stabilize the oil supply. Now, there's enough furniture to last, I think, yeah. That's plenty of furniture there, plenty of furniture there. These houses here need a supply of oil before they can evolve. Okay, so we're gonna evolve this area. This is gonna be our most advanced area. Food has surplus over here, fantastic. Food is maintaining here, which is good. Can we get food to start climbing back up here? I think we might be able to. I think we might be able to. So considering those houses devolved and re-evolved, it should actually be okay. But I, I really don't want to destroy any more of these houses. It, I, I think that's a good number of houses. But down here, it seems like it's struggling a little bit. Is it okay to maintain? I'll just keep an eye on that. There we go. Houses re-evolving these. Oh, forgot about water on that side. Fountain. <laughs> Rip efficiency, but plus style. Rip efficiency, but plus style. Yeah, that, that's how we. That's how we do things. There we go. Evolve those houses, please. There we go. So oil has come over here. Look at that. Finally, some large insulas on this side. <laughs> that is fantastic. Look at this. We've got two large insulates on the low ground. That's, uh, that's one way to do it, I guess. Turning these into villas will also solve our um, desirability issues. So we've got large insulates. Look at that. All right. Large insulates, it is. Some of you using the Zack God's emote, they're all happy. We built so many oracles. There's a bit of oil here, which will eventually be used, I guess. Depends how much oil we can import. It's just those first feedings you gotta be careful of. Anyway, the food supply here seems to be stabilizing. So we kinda need a... Uh... How do we wanna do this? If I just uh, clear off some of these trees, civilize this area a little bit, we're gonna need a granary. Like, is, that's right there. And we're gonna have, like, some houses. Like, right there. No, that's actually terrible. Let's not do that. <laughs> um, 
How can I do this in a way that makes sense? If I move this road over like that, and then do this, and then do something similar... No, that's... Uh, I hate how the, the gatehouses rotate like that. Do that, so that we could have a... Uh, couple houses there, and we could have the granary like that, and the engineer's post there, and set this granary to getting wheat. Did it. Oracle. Oracle. Uh, we'll just put one for now. Okay. Did it. I solved the problem. Grand Insulase? I might do Grand Insulase, but I'm gonna be careful about that for now. Oil's in, furniture's in, pottery's in, couple pieces of marble because why not? Now, this needs more entertainment and also more food, so we're gonna need a granary here. Set to accepting meat. And I'm gonna have off these trees a bit here. I'm just gonna have a road extend out. Like that. And we're just gonna have one, two, three, one, two, three. Gonna have some houses nestled into these woods here. And we're gonna go ahead and put some pig farms. Five should do. We should go six, right? Just to keep things even. Oh, damn it, damn it. No, no, don't do that. Did you destroy any of my aqueducts? <laughs> we blocked the road to Rome for a second there. That's okay. Farm. Pig. So we'll have six of each farms. That should be fine. We're gonna have this road extend up to there, so we can have an engineer's post right there, and that will be stable enough. Okay. So we're fully utilizing this farmland, and that will bring in a second type of food, which will allow to distribute first. And then we could provide Colosseum access. Down here. Yes, yes. Food's coming there, fantastic. Let's go ahead and give you guys a market. That should do there. Now, it could grab the pottery from there. Ideally, the warehouse should be somewhere around here for the pottery. It's fine. It's not that far. We'll, we'll leave it as is for now. Which probably means we need to up our food supply a little bit here. Another landslide, don't worry about that. How do I make this one? Two, three. Okay. One, two, three, one, two, three. One, two, three, one, two, three. Just to keep employment stabilized, I think. And look at that. This area is now evolving, so we can give them the usual uh, theater, amphitheater, library, school. Will the school reach all the way around? Let's try that. And also... Need a bit of extra access to fountain water. There we go. Evolve those houses. There we go. Plenty of room for new people, and that's gonna bring in... We're only shot 28, surprisingly. Despite all these farms, we're shot 28. 
pottery, oil, furniture. How's our oil supply? Have we, are we continuing to import oil? Why does, does it seem like we're so short on oil? Oh, they're selling oil into here, aren't they? <laughs> I guess I said that to accepting and everywhere else to... Having warehouses here really sets, like, makes things difficult. Okay. I think we're starting to balance the food supply. <laughs> this area actually you can see getting the surplus. Okay. Furniture's maxed out though. I think now is the time to properly organize things here. I'm going to crowd this house here. This one is going to be getting pottery. And this one is going to be getting furniture. There we go. Ah. And that is going to be good, I think. If I just kind of shift these around a bit, I'm going to need an oracle. I should actually have two more houses right there. Uh, I probably need an oracle there. Oh, this road is not built properly, is it? <laughs> ah, excuse me, just adjusting the chairs here. Yeah? That's kind of a weird spot. Let's do that there. Okay. I might want to rearrange that a bit, but food supply seems to be doing okay. Let's just up a couple farms here. Make sure that's going. The pig farms are going well. These houses have devolved. No biggie there. I think I will just do that to control the evolution direction. Ran out of furniture. How did you run out of furniture? Is it the market ladies trying to get the new type of food? I think so. But there we go. Plenty of room for new people. That house is going to move in there. We're going to need probably probably be more stable to have the house here, right? There. Okay, and I think that is pretty good for phase two. We have now expanded over into this area. And uh, we've evolved these into large insulators. We've got oil coming in, and uh, not into this warehouse though. It's going into this warehouse, which is gonna make things a little bit complicated. Are we still importing oil? Why are we not buying any oil? It's May, and no oil has come in. Oh, there was a landslide, wasn't there? Ah, oh, these landslides keep putting a damper on my trade. It's throwing off my sense of what's actually uh, supposed to be done here. So food supply seems to have stabilized on the X block. The food supply is starting to stabilize again on the L block. We have fed the Z block and the T block. And this heart block over here, I suppose it's a C block, I guess, is fed and we've got some low ground houses down here, uh, which needs a supply of oil, which... We're trying to get the two types of food distributed, I think. Yeah, the first feeding of the... Oh, look at that. Some of these houses rearranged a bit. It's doing the three deep automatically. Um, introduction of meat threw off the distribution a bit, but I think it has now stabilized. Wheat and meat are now perfect there. We don't have to worry about evolving everything to grand insulates because when we get these... Oh, they're two by twos again. Fantastic. When we get these going, uh, it's going to be... Uh, villas, which will boost our prosperity, which is the biggest challenge on this map. And everything else is going to be A-OK. -okay. Population is already above 4,000. If we evolve some of these houses here, it's going to be good. 
Why are these... I always forget the bathhouse. Why do I always forget the bathhouse? Yeah, get a bathhouse down. And these two also don't have water supply. Fountain. It's because this this is five deep and this is four deep. Oh well, blocks can be any shape. <laughs> uh, it seems like oil is not being imported for some reason. I don't know what. Uh, are, are the traders still not back? How long is this? No, no, the traders are in. I don't know why I bought the city seems to be. Greetings. This is an okay city, really. Okay, these guys I think are gonna sell oil probably to up here. <laughs> But yeah, it's going well. That is the end of phase two for Lugdunum. And uh, yeah, we're gonna have to pick this up into phase three. All right, that was phase two of three for Lugdunum in Caesar three. We've crossed the river, we've established a city, and now we're gonna be moving on to phase three, which will be the next video. So just click on the button on the screen right now to go to it and you'll be able to see how we properly solidify and develop our city and get some villas. All right, that's it for now. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.